Hello everyone this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding Today we are going to build photo filter app using Swift UI along with core image framework All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box So if you like the work we are doing and if you're learning something from our videos please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future So without any further ado let's get started Our final app will look like this. In this app, we have imported photos from photo library and we can change the blur or sepia contrast. So as we change the slider, it appears final image including this effect and finally, we can save the photos. For making this app there are three steps. First, create an image picker view as this image picker view is not included inside the Swift UI. We need to create a UI kit view then using UI representable view we can import it to Swift UI. Then create our Swift UI view. Then create filter function and add sliders. Then add options to so save the photos inside the photo library. To create this app, we need to create an iOS. Then type the app name. Then select the folder and type the name. First, create a Swift file name as image picker. Then import Swift UI module. Then create a structure. which is inherited to UI view controller representable inside it we require environment managed object context then create a binding called image which confirms to UI image and has optional value then create a function make ui view controller which takes context as ui view controller representable context and takes image picker set and returns ui image picker controller Inside the function we instantiate our picker which is UI image picker controller and return the picker then create an update UI view controller function which takes UI view controller and context as input and returns nothing
Then we create a coordinator class inside the structure. This coordinator class confirms to NS object UI navigation controller delegate and UI image picker controller delegate. Inside it, we create parent which confirms to image picker. Then create an initializer which takes parent as input and set self dot parent as parent. Then inside it, create an image picker controller function. If we get the UI image inside the picker controller, then we can set the parent image as the UI image. Outside the class, we can make the coordinator which returns a coordinator and instantiate the coordinator and inside it put self. After we get the image, we can use our presentation mode dot wrapped value dot dismiss function to dismiss the sheet view. Oh, here we made a mistake. In environment, we need presentation mode rather than managed object context. So now open the info.plist file. Inside it, add a new option called as privacy photo library edition usage description. Then we can tell why we need the image. Inside the content view files, create a state show image picker which has starting value false. We need to create a navigation view. Then inside it, create a VStack. Add navigation title. Add navigation bar items. On the side of leading, create a button. Inside the label, we use SF symbol library images. Then create a sheet. 
add presented state inside it. Inside the content, we require the image picker. Then create a state input image confirms to UI image which is optional. Then create another image which confirms to UI image which has optional value. Then inside the vStack, we check if the image variable is not null. We show image and resizable and frame modifier. Then put it inside the vStack. And for else statement, we show text, no image selected. Then create a load image function. Inside the function, we create guard let image equal image. Then we set our image variable to image which takes input image. We can set on dismiss on the sheet and use the load image function. On the image V stack, we set the background.
Then create two more state called as blur and sepia which is our image modifier. Then create a two slider, one which takes each our variable inside it, we need to create value from 0 to 10. Then wrap a slider to edge stack. And add text to both of it. Then create a function called apply effect. Then create a context which equals to core image context. Then create a variable blur. Before it, we require core image library and core image library dot core image filter built ins. These are the filter created by Apple beforehand. Then inside our blur variable, we need to set it core image filter dot Gaussian blur. Then we set blur dot input image to core image and add input image. Then set the blur radius to our blur state. Then similarly, we do for sepia value. Then set its intensity to sepia effect slider. Then we can set the sepia.set value to our blur output image for key of input image. Then if output equals to sepia.output image, Then if the CG image equal context.create CG image function which takes our output image inside it.
create a WordPress UI image which equals to UI image and it will take CG image. Then set our image to a processed image. Then on change of slider value, we use our apply filter function on both of them. So here you can see that our filter is working. Now add save button. For that, first create another state called processed image, which takes the changes we made every time with the slider and set them to processed UI image variable. Let's create another button on the navbar item of trailing side. For saving photo, Use the function UI image, write to save photos album, then add processed image as input and put other to nil. And let's run our final app. So here we can see that how our app is working fine. So this is how our app looks finally. I really hope that you liked and enjoyed our video and yes let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel and yes do not forget to suggest some more topics. 
For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.